hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple trick and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation like this, weight is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 and background color is word, let's say red color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section like this. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to create one small ellipse select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now select this ellipse go inside this ellipse we will create one keyframe at size and let's make this size 50 like this then go to the stroke options and we will create one keyframe at stroke hit u zoom in a little bit let's go to around one second and let's make this stroke one at this point okay then we will go somewhere around two seconds we will copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v then we will go to around three seconds again we will copy this middle keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v go to around two seconds copy the first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframes and hit f9 after that uh, we will select those keyframes and go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and let's move one handle over here so if you see this stuff now we will get something like this okay let's select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and simply double click to apply and we are going to choose white color over here uh, and we will create one keyframe at color then hit u go somewhere around over here create one keyframe hit page down button one time and let's change this color to black so over here we will get the transition from like this then go over here we will copy this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes go to the last keyframe over here and we will copy first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v so if you see over here we will get this kind of stuff now select those keyframes and hit f9 now alt click on the stopwatch of this color and type loop out expression on it and simply copy this expression alt click on the stroke width and hit ctrl v like this okay so we'll get this kind of animation now let's minimize this select this layer hit ctrl d few times like this select all of these layers and type size over here in search option let's go downwards select this 10th layer let's make this 100 or let's say 120 so basically we have added 70 per thing i mean 50 plus 70 it's 120 so we need to add 70 in each and every reading so let's right now it's 120 so let's type 120 plus 70 which is 390 so let's go upwards and let's maximize this like this now 190 over here so over here we have to type 190 plus 70 now 260 so we will do 260 plus 70 so basically we have to follow this procedure again and again okay i think we are done so if you see this now we will get this kind of structure like this okay hit u now uh, uh, let's select all of them and type size again 
as you guys can see we have created this kind of animation over here but we don't need this animation so now uh, first of all let's move your time indicator somewhere around over here out of this keyframe and then let's delete this keyframe we don't need that okay so if you see this now you will get this kind of transition like this now let's take a distance of five frames simply select all of them hold alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok and let's increase the duration of it let's go somewhere around over here hold alt open bracket go to the start and simply move this animation over here so if you see this now we will get something like this let's go to the start select this hit u and if you see the last keyframe is over here which means this is my looping point so i hit n over here so if i see this animation now i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop simply select all of them <coughs> press ctrl shift c i'll call it as animation press ctrl y to create solid background select this right click go to the layer styles bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss increase the size of it or instead of that what we can do we can go inside this select any one of this like suppose select last one right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss increase the size up to 80 percent <coughs> sorry uh, and opacity let's choose 40 percent now copy this layer styles minimize this select all the layers and hit ctrl v okay like this select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect to apply increase the drop softness to 200 opacity to 30 it will take a little bit time to load this animation okay so as you guys can see you will get this kind of animation and that is also in the form of loop yeah so as you guys can see after loading we are getting this kind of animation in the form of looping animation <coughs> 